Okay, so this is a rant that I've had cooking for a while. I'm going to say since like 2017. And it's completely unscripted. I just, today's the day. Today's the fucking day, right? Here's my thesis. Nobody owes you success. We're talking about music. I'm sure it could apply to all sorts of things. I'm not that philosophical. I'm talking about music. Specifically, what pisses me off is people who are like, I made a thing. It took me 187 hours to make. You should like it. And my response, generally speaking, is no. Um, I have a lot of friends who have Facebook pages for their stuff, and I don't like them because I wouldn't like them. I would never want, from my perspective, I would never want my music to be pity liked because you know me. I don't want those two worlds associated. I want to get views, listens, likes, whatever, based on the merit of the media itself. Um, I don't want you to like it just because you know me, because chances are, if you know me in real life, you do not listen to the type of music I make. I don't want you to conflate those two things. I think that's stupid. And so I'm not going to do that for other people as well. So you poured 100 and 87 hours into this project, right? I don't like it. <laughs> Nobody owes you liking it. Um, they, they just don't. And it's so weird because, I don't know, when I was in school, I met people who, I guess, were not used to undertaking large projects because I went to music school a lot later than the people there I was 24 and everyone was like 17 or 18 and like they would make a thing and it was like one of the first musical compositions they'd ever written and they're like oh why am I not getting an abundance of praise for this and it's like huh maybe because it's not very good because this is like within the first couple years of you ever writing anything ever and of course at that point I was however many years into making my own compositions and they weren't good either right and now i'm sitting here it's been well over a decade and i still don't think for a second that anyone owes me liking their stuff right the second part of this which is going to be the edgy controversial take is i don't think necessarily that a lot of artists musicians what have you You shouldn't expect to get paid for what you do if there's no demand for it, okay? The if there's no demand for it is the key part. I'm not saying that artists and musicians, their time is worthless. Um, chances are it's not. However, you cannot shit out a piece of art that nobody asked for and then just be like, wow, nobody wants to pay me for this? Like, no, no. Maybe they don't. Like, there's a reason why shitty bar cover bands make money and your original basement black metal project doesn't, right? Demand. That's a thing. Um, it's like, oh, well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't ask a plumber to come to your house and do a whole bunch of free labor. And it's like, right, because that was in demand. That's a service that people need. Whereas... Art and music and what have you, there is an abundance of it. It's everywhere, you know? I can just turn on the radio and there's music. It's being broadcast literally at all times through my brain right now. Um, you know, I can go to any store and pick up one of 300 novels, right? Whereas you can't really stumble on to, like, services <laughs> they're more in demand it's i get so annoyed when people who are like you know on my level of music with like a bit of success but not really that much success are getting pissy because they don't have more recognition and it's like are you making something that people need or are you making something because you wanted to make something and then you're expecting people to reward you for it because that ain't how it works. If there's no demand, like 
who cares, right? Some people might, and that's great, but you can't expect everyone to care. And that demand has no correlation to how much time and effort and skill you put into your thing. Like, it, it just doesn't, right? Because I could sit down and write the most complicated, convoluted, groundbreaking music theory, stupid, dumb bullshit, orchestral metal album, and nobody could argue that it wasn't insanely difficult and technical, but nobody asked for it, so who cares, right? And that's why you dumb meme TikTok songs have a hundred million more plays than your project does. It's not because it speaks to people on a technical musical level, right? It speaks to them on an emotional level. Um, that's where the demand is because most people don't give a shit. And so somebody could just sketch up some dumb banger of a song in their like stolen FL studio and put three hours of time into it and it gets millions of plays whereas your fucking progressive technical death metal album you've been slaving at for like eight years and you finally released it and nobody gives a shit it's like that's why because because nobody gives a shit and most people don't see the innate like musicality or technicality in it like it's just a it's just a if it clicks with people thing right and for what it's worth i understand that a lot of this is projection you know like i have had to come to terms with the fact that it's like wow how much time and effort have i put into all the bands that i put in and it's just like and i look at whatever other thing do i do that I don't know. I don't really compare myself that much. Like I know people who are a lot more successful than I am, but I understand that they make music that speaks to people in a specific way. And I know that the music that I make doesn't cause I don't really try to make it do that. But yeah, if you're an artist or a musician that pours hundreds and thousands of hours into what you do, that's great that's awesome. I don't want you to stop doing that, but I want you to understand that if there's not a demand for it, you should be doing it for you, not for recognition, not for views and plays and clicks and all that stupid internet bullshit that has skewed the value of art and music because something's only as valuable as the amount of exposure it gets, which is also stupid, but that's not what this is about. This is about not diluting yourself into thinking that people owe you because you toiled away at this big huge project that nobody asked for just enjoy that you made it you know nobody nobody owes you that nobody owes you like i don't know nobody owes you collaborations or musical inputs or stuff like that I've, I've just known people throughout the years that it's like well I wrote this so why wouldn't this group of musicians want to play it and it's like because they're working professionals and you're some guy <laughs> and maybe that will eventually switch but until then you just have to accept that just because it was hard for you to make doesn't mean that you're owed whatever it is a performance or a recording or a shout out or whatever um people who have a bigger audience platform than you who make similar music to you are not obligated to shout you out because you think that your music is better than theirs <laughs> Even if it's more technical, even if it's got more key changes or more blast beats or better vocals or whatever, it doesn't matter because they have the audience for a reason. There are times when it's like, I made this thing. This is what it comes down to. I made this thing and I'm very proud of it. Can you promote it? And it's like, I, I mean, no, because why? Like, I mean, I'm not like... I'm not going to say I'm not an asshole. I kind of am an asshole. I'm not that nice of a person because why would I owe that to you just because you slaved away at it? Like, are you going to promote the fucking hundreds of albums I've put out or whatever? I don't expect you to. I don't expect anyone to. Um, yeah, it's weird. In closing, 
This has been a surprisingly not negative rant. I was prepared to come off as an asshole. I think the edgiest thing I said is that you don't deserve to be paid for your work. Maybe I'll even make that the title just to be super edgy. Um, like the platforms which we have to use as, you know, current year musicians living in the year of our Lord 2023, the platforms that we have to use are very bad for creative original art because that's not what they reward right they reward mass appeal and the feedback that you get when your likes and your plays and whatever they make it so that uniqueness isn't valued unless it's a specifically viralable thing you as an artist musician whatever should just make things that appeal to you that you wish to see in the world and don't give a shit if this person you're comparing yourself to has more views and more clicks even if you think you're better um and yes this is also partially to me because i do catch myself doing this but i really try to watch when i'm doing this you know if i see a friend or even somebody i don't know who makes a certain type of music and it's like oh wow they have millions of plays what the fuck i need to stop myself because like we get what we get in terms of plays we being the bands that i have i make really niche music and just because somebody else makes similar niche music and got millions of plays it resonated with people i'm not owed that audience because it exists elsewhere they did something to make it better and whether that something was paying 10 grand in marketing or just making a really killer breakdown i'll never know it's not my job to know it's my job to focus on my fucking music um and i don't uh, that was a side tangent what i'm trying to say no no that was about right just stop paying attention to clicks and likes and plays and all that shit because it doesn't matter make unique interesting music you'll have less of a fan base but it'll be actually interesting to listen to in the world that's my rant thank you goodbye